So a couple of years ago, I was in Ojai, California, and I showed um, uh, Gunner's high-end composting toilet. Um, it was basically a Sunmar composting toilet. It was really nice, water seal. But this system here, I think you're gonna really enjoy seeing. It's both, uh, I'm gonna show you the black water system, but there's a gray water system too that I probably won't go over in this video. But um, in the state of Texas, um, all of the state is uh, regulated by uh, an authority that tells you what you can and can't do on the property. So this system is, well, just let me show you. Okay. <clears throat> so all the plumbing, the Blackwater plumbing in this house, it basically comes out here. And it goes into this concrete um, container. And inside this container, it's, it's insulated. And it has shade cloth on some bars, which holds material. Actually, you got to fill it with wood chips first. All right, you can kind of see you got seedlings even growing in. And uh, it's insulated, so even when it's cold, it stays warm in here. That lid goes here. There's two of those lids, one and then another one underneath it. And then it's just wrapped in uh, tin, like this here. So this is basically filled with wood chips and then composting worms. And you might be able to see some composting worms. They probably d dug down under um, once I open up this lid. But after that, uh, right here, uh, there is, uh, from the bottom, there's an outlet. And it's kind of hard to see here, but then there's a backflow preventer. And because it's flat land, uh, there's a pit. And in this pit is just a sump pump that pumps underground on a pipe out to this like a small constructed wetlands okay so i'm here in december i'm sorry no it's the end of november <laughs> just after thanksgiving uh two days after Thanksgiving. no no i'm sorry thanksgiving was yesterday so this is the constructed wetlands as you can see here it looks like she's got a couple of willows growing but it's not very big. It's maybe 20 feet by 15 feet on this side, 10, 15 feet on this side, and kind of goes down into a triangle. And then behind it, she did say she has a tiny little berm, but not much. So very inexpensive and it's a high quality system. So you're probably wondering, well, how is that gonna pass code? Well, look, this system was actually developed by um, Anna Eady, and she wrote about it in this book called Solviva. Uh, here, here on page 89, she goes into the Solviva composting flush system, and sh her property is on Martha's Vineyard. So she had to get lab results and tests that said this system was worth more than the standard flush system when it came to the environment. So here in the back of this book is, so she has, and good thing is she's still around, even though this book was written in the 80s, praise the Lord. She has plans for this composting system, right? 50 bucks, and so you can get the plans from her. And then here, and for, for those of you in Texas, uh, this was printed out and February of 2021, and this is the um, uh, uh, T TCEQ, Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. That's our authority here in Texas. And so it says right here at A, you know, permit is required. A person shall hold a permit and an approved plan to construct, alter, repair, extend, or operate an OSSF, an on-site sewage facility, unless the on-site sewage facility meets one of the exceptions in subsection F. So let's look at subsection F. Here we go. Subsection F here. Here are the exceptions. No planning materials, permit, or inspection required for an on-site sewage facility for a single family dwelling located on a tract of land that is 10 acres or larger. And the on-site sewage facility is not causing a nuisance or polluting groundwater 
all parts of the on-site sewage facility are at least 100 feet from the property line, the effluent is disposed of on the property, and the single-family dwelling is the only dwelling located on the tract of land. So this system has been proven on Martha's Vineyard, and this system is three years old, and it causes zero nuisance. As you can see, um, I don't think they've actually had to empty this system out since when they first filled it with uh, wood chips. If you had a slope on your land, you would need this pit or this septic pump to run the water to the constructed wetland. Um, you would just do it with gravity. So this is only needed because this is relatively flat here. Now, that's an extremely useful bit of information, especially if you're in Texas, but anywhere in the country that is gonna have standards uh, for your septic, which is pretty much anywhere. Um, so I'm sure you'll have tons of questions, post them in the comments and um, make sure you like this video and subscribe. So you guys bless you in the name of Jesus and I'll see you next video. Oh yeah, thought you guys would actually like to see the toilet flushes.